Revision rhinoplasty is extraordinarily complex surgery. First of all, we're working centrally in the face on a, you know, on a part of the, the face that has to work well and look better than it does. With previous surgery, there's always scarring, and very commonly, because older techniques are often used for rhinoplasty still in this country, a lot of cartilage has been removed, leaving the nose weak and unstable. And so over time, the nose, parts of the nose can collapse. Open rhinoplasty approaches allow me to be very, very precise about how we do revision rhinoplasty. We can diagnose the problem very exactly where before surgery often it's even in experienced hands it's almost a guess. That's because scarring can be can, can confuse the picture and create problems that we can't easily identify without opening the nose first. With open rhinoplasty I can diagnose the problem very exactly and then do what's required to fix it. I've done over 1500 rhinoplasties at this point about half of them are revision. I do about 150 to 200 a year now. And so with that kind of experience, I'm really good at being able to predict what I can and can't do and to give my patients a really great idea about whether I can fix whatever their problem is or not. Very often, after an open conversation about what's required with revision rhinoplasty, many patients decide to proceed and others decide that they just don't want to go through the process because it is a long surgery and a long recovery. Surgical times for revision rhinoplasty are average around three or four hours and the recovery will definitely be 10 to 14 days before you're feeling comfortable to go out again.